seconds. If you hold a Deadeye for its entire duration, the maximum amount of damage you can deal is 1554.80. Against a target with high HP, like Symmetra's ultimate, this damage isn't enough to destroy it. Not even close. But what if I told you you can destroy it? And what if all it takes is a little finesse? Okay, the spinning is unnecessary, but it's true. A little bit of camera manipulation causes Deadeye to do more damage. Why? Deadeye deals damage using an accumulation system. Once a target is locked onto, the damage done to that target increases at a rate of 130 per second. After 2 seconds, this rate is doubled to 260 damage per second. Ordinarily, that's all there is to it, but there's a problem. Remember how the damage rate is doubled at the 2 second mark? It turns out this damage doubling function can be re-triggered multiple times by breaking and re-establishing line of sight. This causes the damage to increase exponentially, far exceeding what should be the maximum amount. Interestingly, there is a damage cap. Deadeye can only charge up to 99,999 damage. This damage doubling quirk can be triggered in two ways. Having your target jiggle peek behind a cover, or by intentionally moving your camera. Both cases cause line of sight to be broken and remade, allowing for a faster kill. This is made evident by the skull icon, which appears when your accumulated damage exceeds the target's current health. Hi, Future Marbler here. While editing this video, I found another Deadeye bug. I know, unbelievable. This ring indicator is supposed to display how much damage you have built up, but it isn't very accurate. As shown here, I kill Ball without having a skull icon. For some reason, the presence of armor HP really confuses the indicator. It takes much longer to build a skull than it should, but only visually. The damage is still enough to get a kill, it just doesn't show it. So, uh, yeah, don't trust the indicator against armored targets. Okay, bye. Since your camera can influence this, it's useful to know what counts as being in view. Deadeye has a 105 degree field of view, irrespective of your FOV settings in the options menu. Its shape is effectively a cone, which covers this region of the screen at the maximum FOV setting. You can't lock onto players on the sides of your screen, but you can lock onto players pretty far above and below your screen. Knowing the exact extents of the lock-on FOV, we can tass a perfect Deadeye by hitting the damage cap in 2.93 seconds. Now before you get too excited, there are some caveats to this technique. Damage doubling is only possible after the first damage increase occurs at the 2 second mark. By this point, Deadeye has already charged 260 damage, which is enough to kill most heroes anyway. Deadeye also accumulates damage separately per target, so you can't farm a bunch of damage on one player, then transfer it to another. Still, this is a pretty interesting quirk that might make Deadeye a pretty decent ultimate. Assuming the bullet, you know, hits.